Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We are about to commence this uh, service, and so we ask that those on the outside can join us on the inside. There's still a room on the inside. All right. Thank you. 
God Almighty. We honor you today because you are God. There's none like you, none before you, and none after you are God all by yourself. God Almighty, we give you thanks for this day. As we come, mighty God, remembering our loved one, we pray, God, that you'll undergird this time. Give them strength, mighty God, to cope with their lives. God, we thank you that whatever we say or do today will bring honor and glory to your name. So we ask that you'll have your own sweet way today. Lead and let us follow as we ask these mercies in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And this time we'll be having the first lesson from Psalms 19. Reading from verse 1 to 12. And this will be read by Yanni Andrews.
Ready, ready, let us be ready. 
and sister. Welcome. Now we'll be having the second lesson from 1 Corinthians 15, reading from 15 to 58. This will be done by Delma Walker. Okay. Singing, making himself look handsome as can be. He 
He was very nice, kind, and he was very nice, kind, helpful, jovial. One who loves cleanliness, loves music, loves to wear clothes, loves to look, loves to cook lobster, making everyone around him feel nice. When this young man washed his bike, he would shine him up because he loved when everything will clean and shine. Corey loved his children dearly. His children could not leave the yard. He did not want them to leave because he was afraid something would happen to them. So he would so he said he would prefer they stay where he can see them. He loved his children with a passion. He would say, Desia, don't take my children out of the yard. And if she does, it would only, it would only be for one day. He would speak with a strong voice. You deaf? What he say? Corey had two sides. One quiet, the other ignorant. Quiet side, nice and friendly. Ignorant side, you never see. You never see unless you get him nervous. Corey loved his cousin, and every day he would talk to them. Call, go look for them. Call, go look for them. They would chat and play music. My brother has planned for the future. All his plans did not mature. He was taken away by he by his. He was taken away in his way. Hand of death. May I encourage my mother, my brother, children, woman, nephew, and myself. Keep strong in the Lord. Rest well, my brother. Worry. We miss you.
Yeah. <laughs> 
God be the glory. So love be the world who yielded his life. He opened the land gate. It is indeed an honor of mine to be sharing in this ongoing service. I stood here this morning and I have seen the tears and uh, actually everybody in and out of this room have shed a tear. And one would have said that tears are a language God understands. I understand myself what it is to lose love. On. It is something that one would never get used to. But then, when you become a true soldier of the cross, you would have then understood that it is appointed unto man once to die. And the fact remains once you have arrived, then you must depart. But when you know sometimes it's not even the departure that have become so effective. But it is the way in which one departs. So then I encourage the family this afternoon. Be strong, be courageous. God is not asleep. He sees and he knows the pain you feel. And he promised that in time like this, he bring you comfort. Amen? Amen. Amen. We have just listened to the song that life has been so good and we can't complain. But then, if I would pass for a moment then, I would have asked a question to ourselves. Is life really that good that you're not complaining? Huh? Are we just singing? But life should be good when you are in Christ. Because if you are in Christ, John reminds us that let not our heart, because he believed in God in my father's house. Are many mansions. So then we look that uh, in a time like this, a time of uncertainty, who do one turn to in this crucial and wicked time? When we analyze the time that we're living in, we do look at the economy that is in crisis. Unemployment rate is climbing. We have not yet gotten over COVID-19. The murder rate is soaring higher and higher. Government officials, the authorities, they are failing, seeking answers themselves. Racism across the globe yes. is untamed and out of control. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We are killing ourselves trying to live. People still think they can find peace of mind in pills. Yes. They try to eat their way to ecstasy. They try to drink their way to pleasure. They try to smoke their way to a settled nerve. Yes. 
They try to pump their way to popularity and push their way to power. They try to bully their way to a friendship and then booming their way to world peace. But who do we turn to in a time of uncertainty? But I rise to tell you today that I know a place and I have come in contact with a man who can. The man Christ Jesus. Believe it or not, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Who do we turn to is a never failing God. When we look at our present situation and try to analyze it in the lowest terms as we possibly can, we could look at it a few years back then. All that mankind was afraid of was dumpy. Yes. In this present day generation, dumpy is now afraid of mankind. Oh God, somebody got to help me. Mankind has come to the stage where they have no regard for the Creator, and that's why they have no regard for human life. What will happen next? The scripture teaches us the fact that the hearts of mankind has become desperately wicked. And when a heart becomes desperately wicked, it simply means that every day, each minute, each hour, it is seeking for wickedness. And if the heart is seeking for wickedness, it simply means that it will not rest until it has accomplished whatever it sets out to do. My brothers and my sisters, have you taken a step of your life? And ask yourself the question, when will this come to an end? When will this violence cease? When will mankind grip their full understanding that they are not the creator, they are not the maker? One day this maker is going to say, enough is enough. Come unto me, all in that labor and our heavenly and I will give you rest. When will we grasp the understanding? In every era, every corner of our little country that should be the land of wood and water has no turn to be the land of guns and blood. Murder in every corner. Blood in our streets. Crime and violence running rampant in our little country. What do we do? Running from here to there because of fear of the human race. Hiding from one another. Hiding from ourselves. We buy bars and we drill our little home to make sure that you're secure. You get cameras, you install it to ensure your security. You buy guns, you walk with it to ensure your security. You buy dogs, you change them around your house to ensure your security. But there is no security out of God and Christ. He's the only security. that we can only hide in him. That's why he said, in time of trouble, he will hide us in his pavilion, in the sacred of his tabernacle. And when God hides you, the enemy can't hide you. Because you're covered. I rise to challenge your hearts this morning. In this your time of mourning, in this your time of grief, remember that the Lord given and he taken and he is not slack to his promise. He will comfort you. The Lord will carry you through whatever that surrounds you that is negative. God surrounds you. 
owns it, and my God is bigger than man. He's bigger than your problem. He's bigger than your sorrows. He's bigger than everything because he holds the world in his hands. Let us come to terms and condition that out of God and Christ you are nothing. The scripture teaches that without God, you are dogs and sorcerers who are among us. Come on, somebody. Help me give God praise in my life. It is very sad. It is very sad to know that our young people have been dying like flies. Friends betray friends. Dying like flies, then what will tomorrow be when the children are left without mothers? They're left without fathers to go on their own. What will happen then? Do we look into the condition and see where we are heading? Where? Where are we going with this? A two year old grow, a three year old grow, only to hear and understand that your father was gone down, your mother was gone down. Ah, uh, for what? They don't know. And when they grow up, uh, they can think of if God is not with them and if God don't have them, uh, God, all they want to do is to get revenge for whatever happened. Where are we headed with this? Without God and Christ, we are nothing. What is the heads of government? Our authority. Where we are looking in what direction? They are looking to find solution for these problems. But if they themselves don't know God, how can those that believe know God? But I never pass to look into it. We, we have two political parties. And I never pass to look into it. I don't care what you want to belong to. I, I'm not a political person. I've never voted. Nothing can get it. But I never pass to look into it. The thing has to be corrupt. Because for one to get into the place or the seat that they want to get into, they have to tear down somebody else to get into. And if you're doing that from the head, what do you expect the tail to do? Corruption begins from the head. Because of this shooting here, shooting there, shooting here, shooting here. I don't wonder why the guys you can't see too much gunshot are beat. In the quiet of the night sometimes, we hear you echoing. Now you can wonder, who's it? Who next? Who next? the point where I'm closing, but it reaches the time when you don't have to do anybody anything. Because watch this. It's two class of people. One is Harry and the other one eye shot. Are you not talking to me? Huh? You're dealing with two kinds. Harry or Harry shot. So if they can't catch Harry, they catch a shot. Now if you are in the short position, you have no idea what are we doing. If you are the shot, you should have no idea what are we doing. But why you can't get Harry? Look at you. Harry would have known and must have known whatever or however you spread your bed. Yes. And the poor should have no understanding that something is out for you when you have no idea. What kind of world are we living in? What kind of world? Mankind running away from the church, running away from God. Because what? 
Mankind want to gain popularity. Mankind want to be in the limelight. Mankind want to be on top. Mankind want to be first. Mankind want to be the boss. Mankind want to be the head. God is the head. And when he makes ready, you got to go. So I said to you, my brothers and sisters, in a time like this, a time of uncertainty, when you leave home and you have no idea if you are making back a life, it better you start walk with God. I look into the open hymn that we did earlier on, and I take note I have two verses there that I really know. And one said, while we walk the pilgrim's pathway, cloud will overspread the sky. It's simple mean and life journey, you will encounter many difficulties, many challenges. Yes, but when Traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sun. And because of all this then, and this great promise and assurance, it said, let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one thing of giving glory. This time of life, repeat. My brothers and my sisters, trust God. Trust Him with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And he shall direct your path. And when your path is directed by God, when your steps are ordered by God, each step that you take, you'll be stepping on board. Trust in the Lord. Trust God. Hide in him. Because he's a great rock. Of all ages. May God peace be with you as you walk through this life of torment, this life of trouble, this life of war. As you go through day by day, ask God to keep you and guide you. Until that day, until that day, when he calls you, come on up high. Come on up high. Because greater is he that is in us, than he that is in the world. If you have to weep, weep. If you have to mourn, mourn. But don't weep as those without hope. Because if in this life, we have to will be men most easily. May God bless you today. God keep you. God sanctify your heart as you turn your life over to Almighty God. Give God a chance in your life. Give Him a chance in your life. That when he shall come again, if your ways pleases him, you too shall be in the number when the saints go marching in. At this time we get ready to offer prayer on behalf of the bereaved family. I'm going to invite the family to stand with me, please, wherever you are.
with all our hearts, we give you the thanks and the praise. In Jesus' name.
Fuck it, I'm not doing it. Kick your leg, kick your leg. Oh, I'm coming, I'm not down. Go around, go around now. Go around, see, we're at turn. Watch out, devil. Make the next one, yeah. So we're at turn. Right turn, right 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 turn. Oh, 
Dear departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ash to ash, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection at the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at two second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be made changed and like unto his own glorious body. According to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who died in the Lord. Even so set the Spirit, for they rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Let us all pray together the Lord's Prayer, please. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy 
that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us spotless before his throne with exceedingly great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be dominant as well, might and majesty, both now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Goodbye. Stop.